everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tiffy and it is time for another honest review. So today we're going to be taking a deeper look into YouTube gaming sensation duo who started a business together, Markiplier and Jacksepticeye, both really funny, sweet guys. I will put their channels in the description if you guys want to go check them out. And if you're into gaming or even just cute dudes, just saying. So they have actually joined forces and created a clothing line called Cloak, hidden in plain sight. And their whole strategy is to sell clothing that is both comfortable uh, for gaming and to create a brand that is for you. I don't exactly know what that means, but it's for you. So it's for me too. Here it is. I'm trying to cover this because I don't know what that is. The tape was already gone. So I'm glad nothing was stolen because it literally just came like this anybody could have opened it it's really nice though on the inside they have like their own branding on the inside so i wonder how many of these boxes they actually have because i know that that's kind of a pain in the butt because you got to know how many boxes do we need what size boxes do we need for different size orders how much can we fit into a box so i know that's a that's a struggle in itself so cool to have that branding it's come with some stickers we got cloak hidden in plain sight and the logo and then a larger one that kind of looks like a crescent moon Ooh, i'm a fan of that i like that one we got a card that says this is cloak this is our clothing brand but more importantly this is your clothing brand Okay, so from our last clothing review, if you guys missed that on Suki Market, I will put a little card right here for you guys to go check that out if you would like to. But I forgot to mention the pricing <laughs> of everything that I bought. So I actually spent $186 on this package and we have gotten ourselves three items. And I know that when they first launched the clothing line, there was so many complaints about how expensive these items were. So let's go ahead and dive in and see if these items are actually made with the utmost quality and see if they're actually worth that price. So I'm going to be judging them based off of different categories. So we're going based off of price. Are you getting your money's worth? design is it cool looking is it comfortable is it versatile and last but not least quality and this actually will deep dive into seeing how the actual sewing is done what materials they used how the execution was in production and of course if you guys have any other categories that you think i should do because we are building upon this i actually really like this series leave a comment below and also comment below if you have another youtuber or content creator that you would like me to review their stuff if you've been wondering if you should buy it or not because i will let you know honestly okay so they are actually packaged really nicely they have their own individually branded plastic bags this one is actually a small this is the cloak camo tee it is 35 dollars and the reason why i got a small was because it is a unisex brand i wanted it to fit me a little bit smaller so let's get this out of the bag all right here it is fresh out of the bag so this looks pretty cool Ooh, the, the shirt is actually very very soft this camo right here the camo design is the all over print it looks like it is a silk screen so we just got a silk screen it's actually a really well done silk screen it doesn't feel too thick like they did too many layers of it since this is an all over piece and then we got a custom little pocket right here that is just the black of the fabric oh this is a really nice touch so they got their little little branding right here sewn onto the pocket and then they also have branding on the back that says K cloak it actually is the logo and then cloak but it kind of reads K cloak just looks like a capital c and then they also have the size Hidden in plain sight, made in China. They have the tag silk screen on, on the inside. It feels like a good quality shirt. Let's actually check to see what it is made of. So let's see if they have the tag right here. They do, it's right on here. It is 77% polyester, 18% tensile, and 5% spandex, which is why it has actually has a lot of a, a bit of stretch here seems pretty comfortable 
I do really appreciate the all over print, even with the sleeves and then the, you know, color blocking of the, the pocket and even the little detail right here in the collar. This looks like it was actually um, cut and sew. So what that means is that the shirt wasn't pre-made and then they just printed a design on it. They actually printed a whole roll of this fabric and cut a t-shirt pattern and then sewed it all together, pieced it all together, keeping the collar black and keeping the pocket black. So it's pretty cool. And let's turn this bad boy inside out so we could take a look at the sewing, get a good look at it. And I can't find anything wrong with this. I mean, the quality is really great quality. You can tell that there's care that went into this. They even have some elastic that is able to give us more of a stretch right here for the shoulders. Yeah, no, it looks good. Everything's clean. There's not even any like stray fabrics. Can't wait to try this on. So next up on my list, I have some leggings. And if you're like me, you can live in leggings. I love a good pair of leggings and I really wanted to see what these were like. These run for $45 and I got a size medium. I wasn't really sure what size I should get, but I normally wear a medium in leggings. All right, so it seems like we got a little bit of a high waist here, which is cool. Got some elastic that's really thin elastic that I could feel that's lining the top of this, which I feel like might be a problem for me. I feel like that might dig into my tummy. You know what I mean? I love compression leggings where the whole fabric just kind of brings you in. This is very, very thin and seems kind of uncomfortable already, but we'll wait. We'll wait and see until we try it on. But we got some branding right here on the side silk screen. This fabric seems really, really stretchy. It does not seem like it will breathe very well. But then again, I have to wait until I put them on. Made in China, 86% nylon and 14% spandex. I mean, no complaints about the quality here. I mean, their uh, production team seems to be knowing what they're doing. I can't find anything that stands out to me. Yeah, I won't say anything else until I actually try these on. Last but not least, we got the big boy, a sweater. Um, and I actually got this in a size medium. This was $85, which I, I think they might have lowered their prices because I remember it being in the hundreds. I say that because $85 does not seem like too steep of a price for a sweater. I mean, it seems like it kind of be the norm, like 60 to $85, but it depends on the pattern and what they're doing. And it looks like they're actually doing some color blocking here, which is a little bit more expensive. And they also, oh, so this is silk screened. I wish that this would have been embroidered, you know, like this would have looked really nice embroidered, like in a white, white thread. I just would like to see some diversity in the way that they approach the product so it's not all just screen printed on. But let's take a look. I actually really like this hoodie. I like the colors. I like the color blocking. It's like really in in fashion right now. They have a custom little cloak pulley right here, which is really cool. Let's see the zipper pulls all the way down. We don't got a broken zipper, which is nice. And then they got their branding on the inside here. It's actually, it seems like it's a sticker. Yeah, that's a sticker on there. It's a nice one. It's soft, soft to touch. Um, and I don't think it will be coming off. This is a really nice soft fabric on the inside. So again, made in China, 80% cotton, 20% poly with brush. So 20% polyester. I mean, it's it's well made. We know, we definitely know that whatever manufacturer that they're using in China has done this before. I mean, you can see on the inside, just like the clean lines, the zipper, there's not really any mistakes. We've got a few little flyaways here, but that's not a big deal. The whole way that they've approached this is just really impressive. I do actually love the design of this. The style of this is just like the kind of higher like mock neck uh, zipper here. This guy is a little bit weird. I don't know why they did this. I mean, you can see that it's like the string underneath and that it's tied and I don't know why it would need to be over <laughs> this. I feel like that might have been a mistake. Maybe not. I don't know. That just looks weird to me. I know they were going for a matte look on this, but it kind of looks like an afterthought. 
But yeah, as far as I can tell, this is made really well. Let's actually try everything on. See how it fits our body. So trying on the shirt, I really do love the way it falls. The fabric is very lightweight and you can even roll up the sleeves to make it a little bit more feminine since it is unisex. The quality of the shirt is near perfect. I really feel like the design works and you can even tie it up in the front to show off your curve more. You could wear it while you're gaming or chilling and it's so soft and comfortable you could even wear it to bed if you wanted to. So wearing these leggings I was pleasantly surprised. I've actually wore them a couple times and I really do like the leggings. I do love the high waist and the elastic doesn't bother me as much as I thought it would. I really do like the fabric that they use because it is somewhat of a compression legging. So it keeps your tummy nice and tight. They are a bit long on my leg. The fabric at the bottom scrunches, but I am considered petite because I'm 5'3". If you have longer legs, then I feel like these would fit you perfectly. For price, I definitely think you're getting your money's worth because even looking at the fabric, it looks like it's not going to fade. It's very, very durable. So you will be able to wear these a lot. If these leggings had pockets, that would make them perfect. I really do feel like these are a great quality legging. The fabrics are pretty thick. So if you are bending down, you won't be able to see through like some leggings stretch and you're able to see through when you're, you know, doing squats or something. And I just overall really love these leggings. After trying on the sweater, I don't really like the way this fits my body. I think I might have just needed to get a smaller size, but again, I do share with my husband and he has actually been really loving this sweater. He's worn it multiple times. It's very, very soft and super comfortable. My only gripe would be that when the zipper is fully zipped, I feel like the head space or the neck space is a little bit small. For the price that you're paying, I think this sweater is worth the money that you're paying. Everything is sewn really nicely. I wish that there was some embroidery or something different than silk screen on this. So overall for my full purchase, I'm going to give it a five star in price, a four star in design and a five star in quality. I was really happy with this purchase and will definitely be wearing these more often just around the house. You know, it's they're super comfortable and I was just really happy overall with everything. So we hope you guys enjoyed this review of Cloak. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Let me know if there's any other brands that you would like me to check out and I will do that for you. My name is Tiffy and I will see you all later. Bye.